Today, it'll be another tasty trip around Southeast Asia, this time in Indonesia. My name is Mix Torres. Come on, it's munch time. Travel in this time of the pandemic is limited to watching YouTube videos of creators taking me on virtual tours, which sucks because I live in a region that has some of the best flavors available to mankind. Well, it's a good thing that my country, the Philippines, has a very international culinary scene. So, what am I craving for today? Ah, let's take a culinary trip to Indonesia. Indonesian food is a vibrant and complex cuisine that is savory, hot, and spicy. Though there are also the usual basic flavors of sweet, sour, and bitter, but savory and spicy are the highlights of this diverse food culture. And just like other cuisines, Indonesian food is also influenced by other cultures. Different influences like Indian, Middle Eastern, Chinese, and Polynesian. But one thing is for sure, Indonesians love their spices. There are five Indonesian national dishes and I'll be tasting three of them today. Rendang, a Southeast Asian variety of curry. Nasi goreng, a rice dish that has meats, vegetables, and a good amount of spices. And satay, meat skewers flavored with shallots, spices, and kekap manis or dark soy sauce. Today we're gonna feature this independent seller called Rendang Station. So what I'm gonna do is go back home to my room, to the studio, change, and then we're gonna eat some good Indonesian food. So here we are now and we're about to enjoy some rendang station, Indonesian food. And we have here the uh, beef rendang meal. It's got some form of uh, rice. I think that those are shallots that are on top of the rice. There's some egg and I think that's mi goreng. This, this is mi goreng, a uh, famous Indonesian noodle dish that's made with some yellow noodles, some chili, some garlic shallots, and of course, their beef rendang. Rendang is a type of curry that's famous in Indonesia, and it's made with coconut milk and spices. Now, Rendang Station makes this with fresh ingredients and also imports the spices, so I am excited to know how this would taste like. Let's start by eating some mi goreng. Mm. Okay. Mm. Nice sweet chili taste. Now when I was talking to Rendang Station, they asked me what kind of uh, spice level I wanted. I think they got three levels of spice. There's the mild, there's the original, and there's, uh, I think, the extra spicy. I think there's the spicy and then extra spicy. And when I asked them what kind of taste would the Indonesians prefer, they said extra spicy, but be careful because that is around three to four times spicier than what Filipinos are normally able to take. And I'm just kind of new to the spice game. So, guys, I chickened out. I ordered mild. Well, the good thing about it is that they said that they will provide me some sambal sauce so I can control the spice level. So I guess I could go in the, add a little bit of sambal. Mm-hmm, okay. That kicks up the spice level just a little bit, and I guess it's enough to provide me with just a little bit of heat for me to appreciate the flavor. I am excited to have the beef rendang. I'm gonna try it with the rice because, of course, I'm Asian. I like rice. Mm. First bite, you just taste the beefiness of the meat, but as you chew, the flavors start to hit you and you taste all of those spices, all of those um, elements that were used to cook the rendang. And this is proper rendang, guys. There's also just a bit of heat because I only ordered mild. So I'm gonna try it with sambal now. Let's also try some of the egg. That is also marinated in some sort of chili sauce. Mm-hmm. Elements combined beautifully and gives you a wallop of a bite. I really, I'm really enjoying this uh, sambal sauce as well because it allows me to control the spice level and just give me enough kick to enjoy my meal. Now let's go and have some mi goreng along with the rendang and some rice as well. All the elements in one go. Mm. There's a wonderful contrast to all the flavors. There's the sweetness of the mi goreng combined with 
the saltiness of the rendang, the creaminess of the coconut uh, milk that's used as well, and all the spices. You have the rice to balance that flavor, and then you have the eggs to kind of complement the whole thing. And wow, when it all comes together, it's like a symphony right in your mouth. Hmm. If you're looking for quality beef rendang, this is actually a good option, rendang station. The flavors that you'd experience, it's worth it. I also ordered this meal, a nasi goreng and chicken satay meal. Nasi goreng is Indonesian fried rice that's made with some spices as well, some chili, some egg. It's uh, also topped with an egg, a fried egg, and it's a famous dish all over Indonesia. Now, satay ayam is chicken satay, which is also famous uh, food of Indonesia, and it's sold everywhere. You can find satay ayam or chicken satay or satay basically all over Indonesia and a lot of parts of Southeast Asia too. It also comes with different sauces. There's, of course, the peanut sauce for the satay. The nasi goreng sauce, which is basically pickled onions, chilies as well, pickled cucumbers. Mm. Wonderful chicken meat that is nice and tender. It was marinated and basted in wonderful flavors as well. Some shallots, some jekap manis or dark soy sauce. The nasi goreng. Perfect uh, rice texture, perfect rice consistency, complemented with the fried egg, it works very well. Let's try it now with the array of sauces that we have and also some sambal. Mm. That was amazing. That is one culinary adventure. Mm. There's a nice dance of flavors in your tongue once you bite into all of that especially with the sauce they provide that bridge for you to be able to appreciate all of these flavors uh, on its own you can appreciate it 100% no problem but adding the uh, the sauces gives a nice compliment see Asians love sauces so you have the egg as a compliment but with the sauces it brings it up to a different level I guess a higher level of flavor. Nice peanutty flavor complements the sweetness of the meat. The sweet sour chili relish complements the saltiness of the nasi goreng. If you're into Asian barbecue, you are going to love this meal. If you're into spicy stuff, the sambal is perfect. I love it. Thank you Rendang Station for giving me sambal and uh, suggesting that I get the mild flavor so I can control the spiciness to the level that I want. This is a certain spice level that I enjoyed. This is wonderful. Wow, good meal. All right, and now for the verdict. Remember when I said that the spice level was nice and mild? Well, if you compound it with continuous bites and enough sambal, you'll have a kick of heat that's truly appetizing. I mean, I honestly couldn't stop. Will I be ordering it again? Oh, you bet I will. That was a good combination. Rendang and satay. I like it a lot. I haven't had much Indonesian food in my life, but something tells me that I will be having more soon. The link is in the description if you want to check out Rendang Station. We may be grounded in our country right now, but at least we can travel through food. These videos will help give you a virtual culinary tour of Southeast Asia. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for updates on new videos. And remember, you can do so much even with just a little imagination. Eat well and I'll see you again soon.